आई आई टी जोधपुर वी आर इनोवेशन मीट्स इंस्पिरेशन वी आर डिस्टिंग्विस्ड फैकल्टी आर पुशिंग द फ्रंटियर्स ऑफ नॉलेज Sparking ideas that have the power to transform the world. Research that holds the potential to impact society. Get ready to embark on a journey through the minds of pioneers. Discover the sparks that are igniting the future. Organic synthesis and catalysis represent the art of making and modifying a molecule which is the bedrock of chemical pharmaceutical and agrochemical industries it plays a pivotal role in addressing societal challenges regarding food energy materials health and medicine so the obvious questions are can we innovate environment friendly methods for the invention of new chemical molecules in an efficient manner can these methods be regulated and selective as we desire Hi I am Dr Sandeep Murarka an associate professor and head of the department of chemistry at IIT Jodhpur our ch functionalization and photoredox catalysis laboratory is primarily focused on developing sustainable synthetic methods to streamline access to molecules of medicinal importance there are three thrust areas of research in our lab the first area of research in our lab involves multi component reactions for drug discovery According to WHO cancer is a leading cause of human death it results from uncontrolled cell division involving mitotic machinery which includes microtubules microtubules polymerize and depolymerize during cell division and targeting this dynamic entity through anti cancer drugs has been employed as a successful strategy in drug discovery however certain cancers develop resistance to existing drugs thus emphasizing the need to develop new chemotypes targeting microtubule dynamics in this regard diethylcarbamate offers an edge as they are biologically relevant however they have not been sufficiently explored as anti cancer agents hence we anticipated that molecular engineering around diethylcarbamates may lead to novel chem chemical scaffolds providing flexibility to cancer chemotherapeutics accordingly we adopted an approach called multi component reactions to synthesize a structurally and electronically diverse compound library of SRL diethylcarbamates we developed a transition metal free one part three component reaction between diaryl iodonium triflates cyclic and acyclic aliphatic amines and carbon disulfide providing convenient and efficient access to biologically relevant SRL diethylcarbamates the anti cancer activity of this compounds was explored in collaboration with Dr Priyanka Singh's group at Bioscience and Bioengineering Department IIT Jodhpur through a combined in silico and cellular studies we developed SRL diethylcarbamates as anti proliferative agents in lung and cervical cancer cells and the lead compound showed efficacy in the low micromolar range through mechanistic investigations we established their role as microtubule targeting agents in cancer cells Emboldened by these outcomes we continued our efforts to further improve their potency which now have yielded a potential drug candidate with potency in the nanomolar range against breast cancer cell lines The second area of research in our laboratory is cascade annulation towards biologically relevant compounds A majority of FDA approved drugs have at least one nitrogen atom in them or contains a nitrogen heterocycle Hence the efficient creation of such drug like diverse nitrogen heterocycles is of utmost importance visible light provides a sustainable alternative to conventional thermal energy source to carry out synthetic transformations accordingly our research group is actively engaged in developing a variety of visible light induced complexity enhancing radical cascade annulations that enable the synthesis of various nitrogen heterocycles we generate reactive species such as radicals in the presence of visible light irradiation which then through a series of sequential reactions result in multiple bond formations in one synthetic operation such processes have several advantages over traditional approaches that is fewer steps improve time and cost economy and compliance with green chemistry principles we are also utilizing such a reaction technology to embed 
drug molecules on various molecular architectures which may enhance the potency of the drugs. For example, reactive aryl radicals are generated from diaryl iodonium reagents under visible light irradiation which then undergo an addition cyclization event to furnish benzimidazo isoquinolinones. It is well known that introducing fluorine containing groups on a bioactive molecule can alter its properties by potentially modulating its lipophilicity and pharmacokinetics. Accordingly, in collaboration with Dr. Stelios group at Queen's Mary University of London, we developed a difluoromethylative cascade annulation process. In general, such visible light induced radical cascade annulations are of high importance and at, at present, our group is trying to push the frontiers by conceptualizing innovative radical cascade manifolds to tap the uncharted territory of chemical space. Another area of research in our laboratory is late stage functionalization for molecular modifications. The selective functionalization at targeted sites of advanced molecular entities at the late stage of the synthetic campaign is an uphill task and is highly demanded in medicinal chemistry and drug discovery. Late stage functionalization allows direct manipulation of CH bonds of a complex molecular entity leading to the chemoselective formation of a novel carbon-carbon and carbon heteroatom bond, thereby potentially altering the chemical and biological properties of a given compound. Late stage functionalization is crucial to developing new chemical entities and drug discovery processes as it enables rapid diversification of pharmaceutical molecules to an exciting range of closely related bioactive analogues without resorting to arduous de novo synthesis. In our lab, we have developed several late stage alkylation and aryylation reaction technologies enabling access to novel bioactive analogues and facilitating the rapid diversification of drug molecules. The objective of our research program is to replace energy demanding and high-end valuables with sustainable and ubiquitous chemical tools such as base metal catalysis, photocatalysis and electro-organic chemistry to convert readily available and feedstock chemicals into value-added and pharmaceutically relevant molecules.